Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. It is August 25th. In this video, we are looking at the prize picks plays for today. Yesterday's was solid, run 4 and 1. The only one that missed was the nerf. He hit the over strikeouts on McClanahan. Martin Perez continued getting at least 4Ks. He had 7. Um, in cores, we also hit the over fantasy on Zach Gallon and the over strikeouts on Brady Singer. So, could have been a, a great 5 and 0 10x day if. That nerfy was able to hit, but still 2x is not nothing to be ashamed of. Let's go ahead and get into today's picks. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's a pretty small slate. Not a ton of... Well, the board isn't great. There's still uh, nine games today, so... Still plenty on sports books and stuff like that. Uh, but today, the first strikeout prop, I would say, is uh, Jacob deGrom for me. He's at nine strikeouts. He's going up against the Rockies. He's at home, so it's a good ballpark to pitch in. I expect DeGrom to go deep into this game. He went uh, very deep into his last game in terms of going uh, 95 pitches, which was a lot more than he was usually going. He was in the 70s for his first few starts. And if you look at the game log, he's gotten you at least nine strikeouts and make that five of his last six games going back to last season. And this Rockies team still will be able to K, and DeGrom is just another animal. If he gets going... Hopefully, can this can be a push, if not an over. He's double digit Ks in you know, four of his last six starts. And some of those were even being limited with the pitch count. So that's definitely one of the first props I like. Another one is a nerfy that we can consider. Um, there's a few that you could look to, but one of the ones I'm looking at is uh, uh, under. I guess now they have less half than uh, 0.5 runs in the first setting between Tyon and James Kaplan. This one is in Oakland. It's always a good ballpark to take nerfies. That one, I love taking nerfies, and I also love taking nerfies in the Pittsburgh Stadium. You got a few others it's like Tropicana that uh, come to mind. We don't have some of those on today, uh, but definitely like Tyon and Kaplan to go under half a run in the first. This one is about minus 145 on sportsbooks. Out of these seven, I believe it has the highest chance of hitting in terms of the odds. Uh, it's supposed to be wind blowing out in Wrigley Field, so this one could be a uh, Yes, run in the first inning between Dakota Hudson and Marcus Stroman. But in general, another one that I would consider would be McKenzie and uh, Marco Gonzalez. It's, uh, Seattle is also a good ballpark to take nerfies. And we've seen McKenzie pitch really well. You might have to just worry about the Guardians bats against Gonzalez. But he's had some of some decent games. And the total is pretty low in that one. Yeah, 3.9 and 3.7. So that is definitely another one we could look to. In terms of pitcher fantasy score, it's like the over on Drew Rasmussen. It is 33 and a half. He's had a couple of really good starts in his last uh, two starts. He has 15 strikeouts, just three earned runs. He's gone 14 innings during that stretch and back-to-back -back wins against the Orioles and the Royals. It's a good spot against the Angels. Last, uh, this is just going to be continue to be like a low-scoring series. I would say we got two solid pitchers. Sandoval's had his moments this year, and Rasmussen's pitched really well. He has a sub-3 ERA. Angels strike out a lot. I uh, still like the Rays to get the win. And, like, last night, they didn't score a run, I believe, until the 7th or 8th inning, and then it ended up going 11, and the total got up to 7 with the uh, you know, just starting at second base in uh, the extras. But, in general, I think this will be another low-scoring take the under on sportsbooks. Rasmussen over uh, or more, the 33-and-a-half fantasy. If you wanted to look to the Phillies, uh, I like Nola over against uh, the Reds. They K a lot, and Nola has had his moments. Strikeouts have been great. Last few starts, he's just given up some earned runs, which has hurt him. Uh, but I'm going to go with Tristan McKenzie over 36 and a half. If you look at the lineup for the Mariners, they ended up losing last yesterday afternoon to the uh, the Nats. Uh, but today, and they only scored one run, which was a home run in the eighth by Rodriguez. Uh, McKenzie's coming off of double digit 12 strikeout game in his last time out. Uh, if you look at this lineup, there are Ks for you got a couple guys north of 30% with Suarez and Cal Rally, the catcher. You got some guys that are low in the teens, uh, but you also have a ton of left handed bats. You got Winker, Santana, Crawford, Rally, and Frazier. So you're looking at five lefties, four righties. So if you look at uh, the splits for McKenzie this year, he's striking at lefties almost 30%, righties about 22.5%. But in general, even if you look at his last 30 days, the strikeout rate has gone from 25.2 up to 29.7. He's been really locked in. So this is also a low, pretty low fantasy score if they are able to get the win. And going up against Marco Gonzalez, I do like this shot and the odds of the Guardians winning today, even though they are on the road. So those are probably my four favorite props looking at the pitcher ones. 
Uh, if you wanted to get to another one, it would probably take the nerfy in that game between the uh, Guardians and the Mariners, but I think I'm fine with just having these four for right now. Uh, over 9Ks, Jacob deGrom under for Tyon and Kaplan in the first, and then two over fantasies between Rasmussen and Tristan McKenzie. Uh, an under that we could consider would be Marcus Stroman, especially with the wind blowing out in Wrigley Field. He's at 27 and a half, so could be a low, like could be a high-scoring game. And we know how Wrigley is really dependent on the the conditions there, so it could be a high-scoring game today. But that's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Best of luck. You can leave any props down below in the comments, and I will see you all next time.